This is Jordan Tao with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe, and let's get right into the news. All right, so Meek Mill attacks his old engineer. This is his engineer. He claims that he built this guy up, and this guy used him to get the Jay-Z and Beyonce. This guy admitted that he left Meek Mill's championships album in Philly because Jay-Z called him and said he needed him over in Paris. Dropped everything he was doing, and he got a Grammy nominated why well, grammy nominated or grammy winning uh record for that and meek mill is tight now i think the guy was probably trying to make some type of point you got to go on the podcast he was on and uh listen to it i'm not going to <laughs> but anyways uh meek mill is in his feelings i don't want to build people up that only use me man i love crews this is bad advice. Championships, triple platinum. It's not. It's one-time platinum. When I met Cruz, he was a store runner. And all all engineers, just so you know, they start off as store runners in big studios. Like big engineers, you know? And he says, uh, when I needed an engineer, I started using them every day. To say you would get up and leave for Jay-Z and Beyonce is insane to me. But aren't you always gurgling Kate, uh, Jay-Z's uh, you know what I mean you know the D <laughs> Jay-Z Jay-Z that's Meek Mill side of Rock Nation ruined his career <sighs> he ruined his own career Meek Mill just stop get back to rapping the way you did before and just keep dropping you ain't even drop again yet dropped a four pack and nobody cares keep going until something sticks then he said uh, imagine building an engineer up teaching them the presets you ain't teach them you're not an engineer you would be an engineer for yourself don't act like pro tools and everything was now and to hear them say what it went to paris instead of worked on what we build it a sound like you sound like a jay-z groupie jay my family Y'all be selling yourself short. Why are you talking? Jay-Z's your family, but you jelly. Uh, Benzino thinks he can fight Joe Budden for free and win. Just because you go to the gym and you have muscles doesn't mean you can fight. Benzino's desperate for a check right now. He keeps begging Eminem or somebody to box him for money. Joe Budden said, hey, come to Jersey and we can box for free. Benzino looks like a clown, bro. So Cardi B and Ice Spice are cool, right? They made sure that it looked like they were cool. But then she talks about, don't confuse me with a Mexican. That's what she says. Now, I know Dominicans don't like to be confused with Puerto Ricans or Mexicans, right? Just a fact. I don't know why. But she talks about it too much, bro. I was like, <laughs> some things aren't for the internet, Cardi B. But she went off. Oh, my gosh. Did Meek Mill do more about this engineer? Yo, Meek Mill, is he going to go piss on his steps? Wait, what is this? Uh, it's just G Dep coming out of jail. Um, All right, here we go. Cardi B offended that people call me Mexican and stuff because I'm not Mexican. I'm not Mexican. My nationalities, my, my nationalities don't have the same, don't have the same cultures. We speak the same language. We have different la uh, dialects. We don't eat the same food. We don't eat the same nothing. Call a, Niger a Nigerian Ghanaian. Call a Haitian, a, a, a Haitian Jamaican. Call a Jamaican a Haitian. Call a, ga call, call a Guyanese a Trini. And you tell me how they're going to feel. And not only do y'all don't call me a Mexican, y'all call me a dirty Mexican. So, of course, I'm going to defend myself. <laughs> you know what somebody said in the comments? They said, she doesn't cook and clean. How could she be a Mexican? <laughs> Someone said, we Mexicans feel offended when y'all call her Mexican. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Cardi looks better without makeup. She should stop wearing makeup. She looks better without makeup. That's a compliment. Um, anyways, um, 
Cardi just speaks her mind. I, I, I can appreciate that. Oh, what else is going on? All right, so then we got uh, Nicki Minaj teases a remix with Sexy Red. She says, you got a verse for FTCU, finna drop the remix, Sexy Red. Left Pound Town, go to FTCU, a remix for a remix. Then uh, Sexy Red says, song and video. She said, Miss Lady, bring the kids in the stroller. That's all I got to offer right now, a play date. Let somebody film us, Sexy no dang well we on tour gag city vibes send me that verse right away please ma'am it's a uh it's a superstar uh, uh or two on there as well get it sexy nikki you better get you should probably do the video with sexy red drake's embracing this is all a larry jackson play these two owe him drake and nikki because he got him Bags at Apple Music. Fat Joe had a friends list of friends and guest appearances uh, for the Apollo Theater, uh, where he got his. You know, he said that the first time he performed, he brought out DITC, he brought out MOP, Mr. Cheek, CL Smooth, Ted Smooth intro. Uh, let's see, Peter Guns, Havoc, Little Kim. Everybody only got 10 minutes. Remy, State Property, and Bleak, Ghostface, Keith Sweat, Fat Joe and Ashanti, Nori, Dipset, The Locks, 50, Fat Joe. And I'll tell you something, man. There was no Papoose, which further fuels the split between Papoose and Remy. And then Glorilla cries because her father's proud of her. Okay. That's that. This is Jordan Tower with JT News. I'll check you guys in the next one. Smash that like button.